Creativity comes from everywhere. Without young talent, we're never going to be as good as we can be. Work hard, be truthful. You need passion. Hi, my name is Christian Bracht. I'm the CEO and publisher of Sleek. Hello, I'm uh, Tristan Macherel, Executive Creative Director uh, Europe for London and Fitch. I'm Laura Jordan Bambach, Chief Creative Officer at Grey London. I'm Francisca Maas, and I'm Chief Creative Officer of Grey Germany. Hi, my name's Pete Way. I'm the Creative Director here in London for BCW, which is Burton Cohn Wolf. The pandemic's actually had quite a big impact on the industry, I would say, not only in terms of budgets and the way that we work, the way that we film things. You can see I'm in my house at the moment. Um, uh, but, but, you know, also the way that we run crews. Uh, and, and most importantly, I think it's made a big impact to staff because we've not been able to work together. One of the main change is the remote working uh, at the global level. Uh, it has accelerated the digitalization of our companies. Creativity, you know, is by nature a very collaborative, very, uh, I guess, kind of very open way of working. So it has been quite tough for people. The difficulty for the young generation is, of course, there are so many applications. When we put uh, ads on LinkedIn, we got more than 10 times more applications than before. Obviously with remote working and there's less money about, um, but we're still looking for people and we still need people, so they have to find different ways of getting in front of us. In terms of creativity, in this business, it's just the lifeblood of what we do. If you're not creative within this, within this business, then there's not much point bothering. Creativity means uh, so much to me. I think it's, it's the reason why uh, I'm waking up every morning. Uh, and I truly believe that great business result is intimately linked with great creativity. I am incredibly passionate about creativity. I feel like it is the one amazing superpower that human beings have. It is the thing that allows us to ad advance. It's the thing that allows us to kind of explore and find new ways around problems. And some of those problems now are really big, like they've never been bigger. So creativity has never been more important. Creativity is the most important factor what we have here in Europe, uh, because creativity gives us a chance to be successful in the global market. It has drove progress since the human exists. Uh, it has made us, you know, find new tools, develop uh, new ideas, and find solution to problems. Most importantly, cr creativity changes things. You know, it allows you to change things. And and in the industry that we work in, where we're you know taught how to take really complex ideas and simplify them down and communicate them to people in a way that they understand. I think, again, like it's, it's never been more important uh, to, to have a creative career. How do we stand out among other candidates and at least get an opportunity to be interviewed? My tip for young people to break into the industry, especially the media industry, is dig deep into the, the company and what the company is doing. Don't be so superficial. Yeah? You, you have to understand what the company is doing and uh, to come up with interesting insights. Find out who the creative leadership is in the agencies that you might like to work for um, and uh, approach them directly. And I would say, you know, make sure that you know what your favorite piece of work from that agency is and a little bit about what's going on. So, so you, know, you show that you're interested in a role there. If you generate a, an interesting insight and you send this insight, for example, to me, then immediately you will get an, an, an interview, of course. Yeah, but if you're superficial, nothing will happen. Then you are one of thousand others. What would make us more interesting during interviews? I mean, I, I look for a lot of things when I'm, I'm meeting people. Energy, tenacity, entrepreneurship, 
openness, those, those kind of character traits which are really, really important. So I think anything that can display those in some way or some experience there really helps. First of all, I look um, every time for authenticity. So um, I want real people um, who are brave, bold, and of course, who are not afraid um, to say something and to stand up. Also, you know, I'm, I always love it when people come and they've, you know, they've done something that's creative but outside of our our industry as well. So have you, you know, do you do music? Um, do you do graffiti? Do you, uh, you know, do you dance? I'm always really fascinated by people who have a slightly different take on creativity or an experience outside of the industry. What do you think are the skill sets that are the most important in this difficult time? In terms of skill sets, I really do think agility and agility of thought is really, really important at this time. Um, you know, we, the world has changed completely. It's been ripped apart over the last year. And so there, there has to be different ways of doing things and we have to be first to, to doing that. I think we need young people to be open to the world around them, to be curious about everything. Um, people who want to learn new things, uh, people that have uh, an opinion, um, and people who are able not just only to craft great solution in terms of the aesthetic, but also able to come up with innovative ideas and able to think uh, conceptually. Also in terms of channels, it's completely different. You know, there are new channels popping up and needing to be aware of that. But also just knowing you know, the, the power that maybe an email might work when TikTok doesn't work. And so it's, it's just knowing, knowing the channels, which is really important, and agility of thought. What can we do as candidates to increase our skills? I think in terms of marketing yourself, it's just going out there and doing it. It's, it's really a case of, you know, if you're a creative, then get a creative book together, get a, make a film, you know, start doing designs, sending in designs, just showing, showing what you can do. Because at the moment, you know, you're not going to be getting briefs. You kind of have to make up your own briefs and show that you've got the capability to do it. And I think that's really important just to try and stand out. Yeah, look, I would, I would recommend to any graduate to get out there and see what they can do for themselves, as well as, you know, as well as looking for other jobs to, to find connections, to find partners that you might like to work with, to start doing, you know, I started doing design work and web design work for very, you know, small local businesses uh, that needed a hand and it developed into something, you know, so much more. I think it's really key that you're just culturally aware, you know what's going on. So. I used to work at the BBC and when we interviewed graduates or people coming in for jobs, we always used to ask them who's been voted off X Factor last week, who's been voted off Strictly. You know, so it just shows that they're watching TV, they're aware of what TV is and you know, they have an opinion as well. So, so I think that's really, really important just to know what's going on in your business. So certainly over the last year, I mean, the. the being flexible with technology has really, really helped. And actually being able to teach yourself. A lot of the guys who work for me have taught themselves to edit on their laptops. If you're looking for jobs, you know, whatever you need to do, you can just sit in a cafe with your laptop now. You don't need a massive backdrop of computers. The technologies give us as a company and brands the potential to work really with the best people because we do not have to get them here to Berlin, they can work actually everywhere. Look, technology is incredibly important, obviously. It is something that we use at the moment, like every single moment of every day. Uh, it connects us, you know, it helps us share. It helps us um, explore different ideas in the work. It helps us to kind of save and, and I guess catalogue all that curiosity that you, that you need as a creative person. We need to embrace technology and, and to embed technology within our creative process. And I would say since the beginning, because technology, when it's used with purpose and with meaning, can truly bring innovative and relevant solution for, for brands.
In terms of CV, I think you've just got to tailor the CV to your job. You know, you, you, you write an accompanying letter, which is always different. So why isn't your CV different? It should be. And that's, that's what will stand out. And it shows that attention to detail as well when applying for the job. The thing I look at the most is, of course, um, the past employees, um, how long the people have stayed and um, what they do or what kind of activities they have besides the normal work. I guess my top do's for a CV is make it personal. Make sure it's really nicely designed. It's amazing how many CVs that I do see and they've just used a, a template and not put any thought into how it looks as a creative person. Um, and I'd also say keep it short because um, because people are busy. <laughs> well, the first sentence actually is the most important thing and so please invest a lot of time in writing this sentence down in the application letter. I think in a CV, and this is something that I probably do as well, that you, you kind of look for, your, look for those key interesting points. Who worked in Burger King for three years? Who lived in Singapore? You want to have these kind of key points in your CV that you're going to be happy to talk about and it's interesting and different. I always laugh if students show me um, other projects, what they did maybe, or what they do in their private life and everything they are passionate about because um, that gives you maybe more feeling of their mindset and um, what they like and um, how they how they are and how they behave maybe. Very important, speak to me with my name. Yeah? Say, dear Christian, dear Mr. Racht, and not uh, uh, to, to whom it may concern. This goes immediately to the trash. I will look at someone's portfolio. Um, I'll sort of explore their work. I'll, understand a little bit about how they think creatively and that really for me is the biggest step in terms of you know whether or not I might hire this person. I'll also look at their enthusiasm, their um, I, I guess kind of their exuberance, their, their openness, all, all of that also will come into a decision and you know I will meet a broad range of people to make sure that I'm not missing anyone just because of you know a particular background that they might have or what have you. In terms of bringing work in, I think, you know, obviously you're not probably going to have made an advert or carried off your first campaign, but you might have done something at, you know, university, you might have created something, I mean, another another person brought in a folding CV, which was quite, quite odd and just interesting to see. And and I think that's, if, the, if there's projects that you've done, um, and are interesting and are relevant, then you should bring them in and show them. You should be proud to show them. Not be overly cocky, but just say, look, I did this for my mum's birthday party, whatever, you know, whatever it might be. And and it's still interested to see it. And if it's different, then you know, difference inspires. Definitely. The most important thing is to prepare yourself before the interview. So check everything works download the, whatever software you're being asked to connect with and make sure that, that works as well. Make sure you can share your screen. The digital interview is probably going to be shorter than the face-to-face -face one because you don't go through the niceties. So you just really need to know what you want to say. Think about what's around you. Try to find a calm space where you're not going to be in interrupted by cats or dogs or children or, or what, whatever is kind of running about the house. Make sure that the lighting's good, the sound is good as well, and that you've got a, a background and you might want to give it a bit of a tidy up, unlike um, what I have here. Um, you know, just, just so that you come across in a really professional way. At the interview, it's very important that you have prompt answers, that you have creative ideas. It, it is important actually to surprise me, to show your character and your personality. I'm always really keen for people to present stuff um, in an interview as well, just bring their work in. And the moment they start talking about their work and if they're really passionate about it, then I'll get passionate about it and you know, I'll get passionate about hiring them. I think it's really interesting to ask the interviewer's opinion, reverse the interview. If the creative director's there, I would ask them a question, just say, what do you think? Because I think you just get a lot more insight. And if you can respond to that and talk and make it much more of a conversation, I think that makes it a lot more interesting for the person who's interviewing you and probably makes it a lot easier for you as well. The other thing I would say is just to make sure that you're super, super clear, slow down, and remember that the person on the other side of the camera is, is just another person. So try to kind of hold your fear at bay, 
and be calm and you know that, that way you're going to present at your best. In terms of what can you do after the interview, I think follow up with a, with a couple of questions. Grab the email of whoever's interviewing you and just say, look, hi, really nice to meet you. Um, yeah, even if you haven't got the job, there might be another job coming up yeah, soonish. So, and it just shows being polite and also it shows a bit of passion and that you're still interested. There is no harm in following up in, in another medium a couple, of, you know, a couple of days later and to keep following up if you haven't heard anything. So in my case, I would say, Send me something, tweet me a couple of days later. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a platform that I check all the time and it starts another dialogue, which is also really nice. So it's really important as a creative person to keep filling your funnel with things. And it doesn't have to be things related to the project that you're working on. I think that's key. The more you can be curious, go out, explore, speak to people, speak to people with different backgrounds to you, talk about issues and problems and ideas and actually, you know, understand different points of view, the better your work is going to be and the, you know, the more creative you'll be as well. I think, you know, that's so incredibly important, particularly at this time of COVID, I would say as well, when you're often kind of at home, try to find ways to expand your horizons. How to stay creative is very simple. You have to be interested every time in everything, actually, even when you're old, like me, for example, I'm still interested in, in young uh, musicians, in art, in, in, in dancing and uh, different kind of things. So you have to keep your mind uh, uh, fresh and you have to be interested in everything. And if you do so, you are able to develop even great creative ideas and great thinking behind uh, activities. Stay curious. Go find something you never thought you'd like and watch it anyway. <laughs>and that little network that you build will only ever do you good in the future. We absolutely need difference of thought in this business. So creativity comes from all different places. And so that's why I really encourage people just to don't give up, keep on going, and it's worth it in the end.